and welcome back to the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. We're proudly brought to you by Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. You can spoil yourself and your car every three or 5,000 miles. Get your oil changed. Go to Spoiled off of Alessandro Boulevard right there off the 215 freeway between Riverside and Moreno Valley. Got to keep your car going strong. It's hot out there. You know that. Get your oil changed at Spoiled Quick Quality Oil Change. All right, welcome back to the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE, 1350 AM. In just a couple of moments, we're going to be joined by the head coach of the UCR men's basketball team, David Patrick. As we take a look at the, the Highlanders' schedule, Jeff, we've had a great week of looking at schedules for the Highlanders and the Lancers. Let's talk a little UCR basketball, and we're going to have David Patrick joining us live here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE, 1350 AM. Coach Patrick, how are you doing today? Well, Coach Patrick, we're fired up to, to look at your schedule for the upcoming season and see some of the teams that you're playing and the dates. Um, it all gets started if we kind of just start from the very top uh, with the Oregon State Beavers. So you guys will go to Pac-12 territory. You're going to kick off your era as the head coach of the Highlanders up there against the Beavers. Are you, how excited are you to, to play a Pac-12 opponent and also see what you got, play your first real game as the head coach at UC Riverside? Look, I think uh, you know, as, as I'm on the road recruiting and basketball season's around the corner and, and, and spending these last three months with the guys, it's just it's going to be a great challenge, obviously, to go to go play on the, on the road. And when you talk about playing a Pac-12 opponent like uh, Oregon State uh, with a great coach and, and Wayne Tinko to be a great challenge for us. Um, but I think something the guys and my staff and I are, are, are definitely excited to, to, to play against somebody else here. Now, Coach, there's some other games that are uh, of significance on this schedule, including one at, at University of Nevada, Las Vegas, UNLV, the Run and Rebels. I know some of these games were probably already in place when you came on board here at UC Riverside, but others you had to add. When you look at the schedule, like how how much influence did you have on this, and did you how many games were you able to add um, once you came on board? Look, we, we we added Oregon State when I got here, and you know what I. What I would like to do is is, is try to keep us uh, on the West Coast as much as possible, you know. And I inherited some games, um, you know, from the previous staff. We have to return to Portland State. Um, you mentioned we have to return to UNLV on November 13th. Um, we have to return to Valpo, which is up in Indiana. Um, so we have some challenging road games, and then we have to return uh, to Air Force um, after after Christmas on uh, December 28th. So we have some some tough challenges ahead of us um, and, and road games at that. So I wanted to um, try and get some, some games that, that were more in our region uh, just because with travel, with school uh, and whatnot, I wanted these guys to not only be ready on the floor, but be ready in the, in the classroom as well. Well, coach, I'll tell you what, uh, I'm excited to cover the, the games this year. And I, I think you picked these games specifically for me. And I'm going to tell you personally, <laughs> because Wayne Kinkle and Craig, Greg Gottlieb, uh, are some of uh, two of my closest friends, and then Marvin Menzies, I worked with at uh, San Diego State, and then uh, Romar at Pepperdine. So I can't wait to do, do these games because I get to hang out with you and these coaches, and we can talk shop all day long. No doubt about it. They're all actually all those guys you mentioned are good, good friends, and I guess I'm in the Lorenzo Romar tree, you know, working for Randy Bennett at St. Mary's, who was his longtime assistant at Pepperdine. So. Um, it, it'll be an exciting time, you know, and, and, and a good challenge. It's a good challenge for our team. You know, I think the one more road game we have is at UTEP, which is Rodney Terry, who was at, at Fresno State, um, which I think is going to be a, a good game for us, talking about two new coaches um, in, in, in two new leagues. So it'll be, it'll be a good challenge for us. We're talking with David Patrick, the head men's basketball coach at UC Riverside. And, and Coach Patrick, Jeff and I were, were looking at the schedule and talking about some of these games. And, and I know as a coach you have to say, oh, yeah, we can win all these games. But when Jeff and I look at the schedule, all of these games seem winnable. We know the kind of coach you are already. We know the guys that are coming back. You've been out there on the recruiting trail. I feel like there all these games on your schedule – there's winnable games out there. I feel like there's a good chance you guys will be above 500, and who knows what that record might look like before you even get into Big West Conference play. I can talk about the confidence that you have, and I know you've got to be humble and you know and respect your opponent, but you got to look at your schedule and feel like, you know what, we're going to be competitive in every single game that we have on our schedule coming up. I don't talk to my guys about 
game. They need to win. Just talk about doing the right thing every day and doing the right thing on the practice floor and within games to give yourself a chance to, you know, eliminate mistakes. It's kind of been our, our motto from day one here. And so when you look at our schedule, you know, anytime you go on the road, it's tough. Uh, but 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 to your point, they're all games where with the talent that was left here and the ones that we have coming in, I think we, we can compete um, every night. And, and, and I, I believe that wholeheartedly, you know, and obviously we're not um, there, you know, sometimes you look at a schedule and you say, well, that one we're not going to get, or that one's going to be a little tougher uh, no matter where you are. But uh, I think these games are all going to be challenging, but we have enough uh, talent in on our roster to be able to compete with every, every game we have on the slate. Yeah, and Coach, with this new roster and uh, a new look Highlander team, you guys are going to open Big West play against three really good teams with three different looks. Cal State Northridge with Gottfried at the helm with Jim Herrick as his assistant. That's going to be a vastly different team. Then you go to Santa Barbara, you go to Thunderdome, and I'll tell you what, that program last year we saw a difference from two years ago because they brought in grad transfers and and other Division One players, and then you play the defending champs, Cal State Fullerton. Those are three tough games to open the Big West play. Uh, but like you said, you have bringing in a, a core of new guys. I'm excited. Can you tell us a little bit about some of these these players you're bringing in? Look, we've been we've been lucky to get the freshmen in the summer one, so they've actually been on campus now for for four weeks, and I, I know you've been around some of them. But uh, look, I think. We, we bring in some more shooting. I think we talked about that in the past that uh, that we had to improve in that area. And we we have the kid Dragon Elkaz from from Australia, who's definitely made shots in practice since he's got here. Um, and he's keeping our managers busy because he stays in the gym. Um, so I think he'll be a, a great addition uh, to, to to play in the backcourt there with DK and 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 DJ Sylvester, you know. And then uh, we added Zach Watson from from Dallas, um, who's a six seven six eight you know, great athlete at the four, four spot. Um, he's got a great body. He's probably 210 to 215 pounds for a freshman. Um, and he's really, really embraced the weight room. Um, we've added DJ McDonald uh, from, from up in Alamany and up, up in, up in LA, um, a crafty point guard um, who's really, you know, I'm really pleased with his IQ and his, and his quickness of picking up stuff. So uh, it gives us, um, Somebody, you know, I don't know if he'll start or not, but somebody that that just want depth in the backcourt. And then when you talk about Callum McRae, who you, you bumped into the other day, he's he's probably a, the truest center uh, I would think in in our league. You know, in terms of size and and girth. You know, Callum's seven, all of seven one, and he's two hundred seventy five pounds at the moment, if not two eighty. So we got to drop him some, but um, he gives us some legitimate size in the post there. And then lastly, Kendall, Kendall Stubblefield's been been on campus. He was North Cal Player of the Year, um, and he's a he's a great addition, great body. He's a three four, about six six two, two thirty five. So he's got some some size. So um, I think when you add these freshmen, and we have Jordan Gilliam coming in, who's a point guard at a six six point guard at a uh, Salt Lake City Community College. He'll be here uh, for the start of school, and then we'll add a uh, we added a transfer in George Wilborn from UTSA who averaged about eight and seven a game last year in conference, you would say he'll sit out. So he'll be able to push the guys because he's actually played at a, at, at a high level. Um, so I think you add those new guys with the, with the veterans we have, and it should be a, it should, it should be a fun year and challenging at least next three months as we get ready for, for, for opening season on November 6th. We're joined by David Patrick, the UC Riverside men's basketball coach here on the Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE 1350 AM. So, Coach, you built this great roster. You've got a great schedule, and I know a lot of people locally are buzzing about that November 29th date against Cal Baptist University. I know uh, you've got ties with, with Rick Croy and uh, your associate head coach, Justin Bell, obviously um, has a great relationship with Coach Croy as well over there at CBU. I know locally here in Riverside, the Inland Empire and beyond, a lot of people wanted to see this matchup for a long time. Are you excited just to build some some a sense of community and a, and a rivalry with those guys and something that the, the whole Riverside area can get behind and get excited about college basketball? Look, definitely. You know, I was I was a Riggs fan from afar when I was over in over at TCU and my other stops, and I, I've been watching Rick from afar. And um, you know, it, it, I'm glad we're playing each other. I think it's great for the city of Riverside. 
it's probably great for both programs. You know, the, the, the only bad part is Rick and I are both competitors. So I'm sure as close as our families are, we, we won't be on speaking <laughs> terms for at least <laughs> for, for a month or so. <laughs> we went to the game, you know. Uh, that's the only bad part, but I think it's great, you know, for for them to have two Division One programs uh, right in our city. Um, I, I think it does nothing but help help the, help the community and help help the sport of basketball here in Riverside. We're talking with David Patrick from UCR and uh, Coach Patrick. Before we got on the air, Jeff was like, "We got to ask him about Ben Simmons. He's the Rookie of the Year. We got to ask him about Ben Simmons, right?" So, Coach, what about Ben Simmons? He's the Rookie of the Year. Uh, I know Jeff was, you know, he, he was on the Ben Simmons uh, bandwagon, but he was kind of, you know, he he liked Donovan Mitchell with the Utah Jazz as well. But we were both excited to see Ben Ben Simmons get the Rookie of the Year award. Um, year one in the books. We've seen Kawhi Leonard go to the Raptors. Where do you think Ben Simmons in the seven? 76 years ago from here now, Coach? Look, I think obviously it's a great accomplishment for him and, and, and his team. And, and I know Ben's biggest disappointment was, was you know, losing in the in, in the playoffs there to, to Boston um, in, in that second round of the playoffs. But it definitely uh, shows the difference he made joining that team. You know, obviously they, they, I think they won 40 more games this year with 30 more games with him at the helm uh, running that team. And I, I think you see, I, I'm hopefully near two, you know, with, with Joe and Bleed and those two clicking. Um, uh, they should have big things ahead of them in the East. You know, the East is kind of probably a little more open now. Whenever LeBron leaves leaves the East, it's kind of a wide open race now. And uh, I would think, without putting any pressure on Brett, that that, that team should be a top two, uh, top two or three team out there in the, in the East. Um, but he's got he's got a lot to improve on. You know, he's uh, the second year is the hardest year for pros, uh, for NBA guys. So the rookie of the year is behind him, and he's in the gym working and, and trying to get better. Now, now, Coach, I know you worked hard. You know, you brought, you've brought over lots of foreign players uh, at all of your stops. But right now, you guys are in full swing recruiting mode, and you and I talked earlier this week. You guys are all over the – I mean, we're not just talking – across the country. You guys are global with UC Riverside. Tell us some of the stops of your assistant coaches and where you're going to be headed off to in the next couple of weeks. Yeah, you know what? I, I do. I think UC Riverside's a, a global brand and a national brand, and we want to do that and be present. So my guys have been from uh, from Atlanta to Houston to Milwaukee uh, to Portland, uh, down to Australia last weekend. Um, we're in Vegas at the moment. I actually head to Thailand um, for the Asian Championships in in a week's time, um, so we, we we're definitely out and about, you know. And we, what we're trying to do is find the best talent, uh, not only in the Inland Empire but from from around the from around the globe to to try and help us. And uh, I think when you watch this game from afar, if you watch the NBA, it's become a global game, and uh, it, there's so much great things to sell here uh, in Riverside. And, uh, you know, we've opened up our, our program to do that. And, and my administration uh, at UCR has allowed us to do that. So um, it's exciting. I, I wish we could do sightseeing on these stops, but it's sitting in gyms and sitting in hotels. Um, but but, but, but it's, been a, it's been a good challenge. And it's an easy sell, Riverside. Well, Coach, I'll tell you what. I want to be your best friend for one reason. You have a lot of frequent flyer miles, and I like to go places. So... If you and I become tight buddies, just know that I like to travel quite a bit. Yeah, I, I can definitely get you upgraded. I know that. And so, uh, no problem. Well, lastly, Coach, uh, I want to ask you this because we know uh, Coach Gorham over here has been helping you out at those UC Riverside camps, which have uh, been going great. Um, I believe there's actually even one more uh, still to come here at UCR from July 30th to August 2nd. You get more information at davidpatrickbasketballcamps.com. Uh, but, Coach Patrick, I know uh, Jeff's son Connor's out there. I'm just wondering when you're going to make that offer for, for Connor Gorham out there. Well, hey, hey, Connor's a little smarter than his dad, so he, he definitely got the IQ. <laughs> he definitely got the IQ. <laughs> he's got the he's got the IQ I'm looking for. Now, if you can get some of his dad's height, we may we may throw the offer out there sooner sooner than later. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's a chance. There's a chance. There's a chance. Uh, but you, you know what? The camp's been awesome, man. And, I, and 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 Jeff will tell you we had good numbers the first week. Uh, of camp we've had great numbers uh this the second week um and obviously when we get off the road 
uh, we hope that the, the great thing is we've had returners that have brought friends to, to, to camp. So that means they had a great, great experience. And, you know, my, my coaching staff does a great job, including Jeff in terms of, in terms of engaging with the kids. And, um, I, you know, I just want these kids to be able to not only be around us, but be around our players, you know, because the, the program's about the players at hand and the university. And so it's good to get them on campus. So like you said, we have another camp next week. Uh, July 30th through the 2nd, and then we have our final elite camp August 1st, uh, uh, sorry, August 4th, uh, which is next Saturday, um, which, you know, we had 70 kids show up at the last last elite camp, and we're hopeful uh, to add to that um, this week, uh, this next week, because you know, it allows me to identify, the, you know, the players that are in the region, you know, because I had to get caught up to speed pretty quick um, of, of the players out in this region. There's some great talent out here. Well, Coach Patrick, we always appreciate talking with you. I know you're very busy, you know, a globetrotter of sorts, you know, going across the globe <laughs> recruiting and and the camps and, and just getting your schedule ready. So many things going on. It's all coming together. I know you still have a little bit of breathing room before the start of the season, so we appreciate you jumping on the show. We always do uh, love talking to you. So thank you, Coach. You know, thanks so much for reaching out and talking about hoops in, in July and you know, the season will be here before, soon before us and uh, – Thanks again, and for all you do for us in our program. Thanks, Coach. Thank you. All right, that's David Patrick, the head basketball coach at UC Riverside. Thanks, Coach. All right, uh, Jeff, uh, the con- the offer for your son, Connor, it sounds like it's coming. He just needs to grow a little bit. <laughs> yes, in fact, I'm going to put it out there like every other every other person in the world. Every other I'm dad. i say that UC Riverside just for Connor Gorham a scholarship for I couldn't even tell you what year he graduates. That tells you how, how bad of a dad I am. Oh, come six on, years dad. from now. Come on, Dad. Yeah, so six years he'll be attending UC Riverside to play for David Patrick. <laughs> hey, when we come back here on the Inland Sports Show, we've got some new juicy details on that San Antonio trade with Toronto that sent Kawhi Leonard to the Raptors. This might sway your opinion. It's it's actually going to sway, I think, a lot of people in the court of public opinion that you might be in Kawhi Leonard's corner. You might actually get behind Kawhi and be like, you know what? Kawhi's right, man. I would have did. Uh, I would have did the Spurs the exact same way. So we're gonna give you these new exclusive details on this trade that looks favorable for our guy Kawhi Leonard from King High School in Riverside. We'll talk about that next when we come back on the one and only Inland Sports Show on Fox Sports IE thirteen fifty AM. 